So. So like sort of from like men in black and yeah. all shades on today. Because you don't believe how bright it is up here. <laughs> the sun is quite bright today, but yeah. also <laughs> the roof is quite bright. Yeah. So our plan today is more sanding. So we're going to basically, we're not going to go mad on the sand, we're just going to take out like, the little nibs off and whatever. And then, and then we're going to put our second layer of gel coat on. Yeah, because there, there is, we actually did a test patch, didn't we? Just to test the gel coat, but where we've double coated, where that's now two coats, it looks amazing. So, so sand's in, gel coat, and then we're going to get our... Scuppers. Our <laughs> scuffer drains done. Yay, we know boat words. <laughs> Only because we've been educating a few guys. So, so we're just going to crack on. Yeah. Right, got me knee pads on, got me fancy overalls on, sunglasses, mask. And today we have bought a buffer that we can also use as a sander. I know it's not massive considering the size of the roof, but hopefully that'll be better than uh, the other portable orbital ones we were using. I'm cleaning bird poo off. How dare a bird poo on our roof? In this, we've got like an interface pad. So it follows contours basically. So you're not just like biting right down in one particular place. So. I don't think I like it. I don't think I like it. It's a bit like... I might go back to the orbital on that time and do this one. So whenever there's water, we always move rubbish off or bring stuff on, but you'll see more of it in a second. But we've got this big, big organiser, it's like a big tool chest, so. But I can't lift it without the boat moving. So what we've got is we've tied a rope round it. What can possibly go wrong? So I'm now going to get out and then give it a pull. We've also got, I was donated this a very long time ago off one of my dad's friends, like an 80s snap-on box, so that'd be good for tools. Carrying the rope, so I'm just carrying the rope. What is it heavy? It's heavy, this. Yeah, it's good there, so I don't trip over it. So, yeah, if you manage the rope.
does flew the drone. I'm getting good at this. I'm getting good at this. It was a bit windy. What well, look? You need to put me a big H on the roof. Oh yeah, we need a helipad. Yeah, helipad. Right, let's get the green. What colour the helipads have to be? Red. Oh, we want to go grey or white. <laughs> we'll do it white. <laughs> <laughs> So it's, it's quite difficult to sand this stuff because it's obviously gel coats and apparently gel coat doesn't actually properly cure unless the oxygen's removed so hence it normally goes into a mould um, but eventually we'll be putting a, a flow coat over the top which does cure but all we're doing at the moment is trying to try and knock off all the sort of all the big chunks and trying to like set like a nice foundation basically for, for the next layers of, of gel so it's hard work but Sand instead boring. Yeah, and as well, even when we put the next coat on, you, you guys are not even going to tell, like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the roof is all sanded, hoovered, <laughs> as you do. Um, next step is to clean it all off with acetone, and then we can do our second layer of gel coat. Hoovered, acetoned, cool. Um, time to start mixing up our gel coat. Now, we when we originally started planning the roof, we said we're not going to use epoxy on the roof because of the cost. But then we spoke to someone um, who does does um, sells epoxy, and after thinking and like we you know we we priced up for epoxy and it was a lot cheaper than we thought it was going to be so i was like right okay great let's go epoxy on the roof but then we got into details of paint and stuff and i sort of said i don't want to paint the roof i want to gel coat it and you can't gel coat on top of epoxy so that is the reason why we've gone for a polyester resin instead of epoxy nothing to do with cost because it's actually worked out for some reason more expensive <laughs> doing the um the polyester resin but it was just for the fact that i wanted a nice smooth finish as possible so that is why because people might go oh you should have used epoxy that is my reason nothing to do with money because actually we've technically probably spent more than what we got quoted for for the epoxy but we want a nice smooth Yeah, finish. obviously if you're doing epoxy paint on top, you can still flat it and buff it and stuff like that. But, um, and our experience as well, my experience with polyester is a lot more than large quantities of epoxy. Yeah. So. These yeah. suits make you look at least 75% more professional, don't they? Mm -hmm. You just all of a sudden become an expert when you've got all the gear on, don't you? <laughs> you know what they say? <laughs> what? All the gear and no idea. Yeah, well, I've definitely got one of them. Okay. <laughs> Let's go mixing. Quick swig of me, bro. Oh, go on then. Maybe we need to take the cups home for a clean. Yeah. Build up your immune system, you know. Are you ready for your hardener? Yep. 
Doppelsöhn. Oh, I should have bought me some mint mixer. <laughs> You're obsessed with your cement mixer. Not really. I bought it years ago. Never really got used. Quite dead. We sort of concrete our path, didn't we, at home? But... No, we bought it because we made concrete worktops oh, at home. Of course, home. yes, right. So we have found a few, yeah. few uses. So we've mixed up a five kilogram tin because we're thinking this should go down quite fast now because we've got the bigger rollers. <coughs> Yeah. And we haven't got a mixer here, have we? No. We haven't got our Robbo here to mix our our, um, our gel coat. So we're like, we'll just mix a big pot, we'll lash it down dead quick before it goes off. That's the plan. <laughs> Second layer of gel coat, done. So what we're gonna do now is tidy up the mess and wait for it to dry and then we can get the drains in or the scuppers for the boat people out there. <laughs> do you know what we call a spade a spade? And I know a lot of you get upset. Ooh, that's not the right name for a boat. You know, get your terminology right. Does it matter? It's still really? what you want with that. You, you know, you've got to also remember there's a lot of people who aren't into boats who watch this channel. So if we start being all fancy with all the correct names, there's a lot of people who are going to be confused. So you understand what we mean. We sort of know what we, we mean, whether it's the right words or not. It's yeah. not the end of the world. I think if we start using posh words, we'd soon run out of talent, wouldn't we? Yeah. It's like, do you have to know the correct terminology of something to be able to fix it? Oh, like a diagnosis with like your health. <laughs> yes, it's the hip hop hop it's a <laughs> valve. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So we are who we are and we're not changing. Yeah. We're learning, you know. We're, yeah, we are learning. We're learning. Yeah. But not everything that's going to come out of our mouths is going to be correct. Yeah. But we're not stressing ourselves over it. We've got enough crap or enough ship to stress over. <laughs> enough ship. <laughs> We've got enough ship to stress over yeah. without worrying about names and stuff. So get uh, over, we're get over it. Word, don't we? Gemma's top ship tip of the day. Don't buy one. Yes, so obviously that big buffer sander thing. You think, great, it's gonna get done there fast because it's bigger. I've got, a, I've got a tip for you. Sometimes bigger isn't better. Um, literally, it was going through pads every two seconds. Um, the little or smaller orbitals lasted a hell of a lot longer on the pads um, and got done just as quick. So yeah, don't stress over size, guys.
So, we're going to fit our scupper drains in our new deck head roof slash thing at the front there. Um, why, have you, why have you put them all out of me? <laughs> it may be my OCD. <laughs> so, just a quick mention on these drains. Because uh, on the last video we've had a few comments like, why, why, are, you, why are you doing that? That's stupid. You know, the experts telling us that we're doing it wrong as usual. So... We're putting these drains in because this is going to be a fresh water collection system that we can use for showers and stuff like that. And yeah, we've had a few comments. Oh, you don't need clothes and fancy chrome ones. Well, no, we don't. But you do if you want to wash the deck. When we want to clean up the, on the roof and we want to use some cleaning chemicals to get it all white again. Do I want them chemicals going in my fresh water collection system? No. So that's why we went for the ones that you can close. So when we're cleaning the roof, we can close them. We're not getting any contaminants into our water collection system. And if they break, they were a tenner. And you can get these from anywhere. They're not special marine stuff that we're in the middle of nowhere thinking, oh my God, we can't find a replacement and it's broke. You know, simple, easy, cheap solutions. So as well, we can actually navigate the water because originally the boat, it basically went off the side, but then the water ran on, onto the deck because the roof wasn't wider than the hull, which obviously makes sense when you're pulling up to um, uh, like a dock or a marina or something. So we can then pipe it further or pipe it below the waterline or anything like that. So, so obviously we, we haven't got to the stage of putting our freshwater collection system in yet so what no. we're going to do for now is we're going to fit these yeah. and we're just going to have pipes drains going out over the boat yeah. so we're not getting fresh water yeah. all over the boat so it actually clears come on then good. let's do it Yay. so what kind of seal are you using right okay so these aren't going in permanently now because we've still got the flow coat to do we just want to get these fitted so all the water's not coming straight through them and going down on the on our decks below. So we're just going to, for temporary measure, we're just going to use bathroom sealant. And to keep with the theme. Yeah, bathroom. it's a bathroom theme, isn't it, <laughs> up on the roof? So we're just going to use some um, bathroom silicon sealant um, and then hopefully when we come to flow coat we can peel it all off and then bed them in properly when the time is right. So it should have be been smart, it didn't work. Uh, we've got our pipe, but I was hoping to be able to heat the pipe and bend it to where we want it to go. Just don't want to bend with heat. So off to the shop now, the hardware store, and then um, get some 90 degree bends. So we've got to go 90, then 90. Then it's away, then into it. Oh yeah. Right, now I need to find out how to secure this now. I've got an idea. So as well, like on the bathroom sink, it's gonna like do like a first flush in it. So it's gonna like collect all your dead brew and stuff in there, so Eventually all these will be plumbed somewhere else and then there'll be nice panelling but we left them got the right height so you can actually still service it. So what's your idea then? Trust the old cable ties. Oh okay. I'll do it. So now hopefully 
the water now will go off into the mud rather than on our lovely sheets. Shall we go and put some water down to see if they work? You want to mess your roof up? Go on, you've got to try them. Yeah. yeah. And as well, our bucket here, I put it underneath, you can see the water in it. That was underneath this one, so they have, the water's been going down, down the hole, so that's a bonus. Cool. Right, let's test these drains, see if they work. Yeah, we can't, we can't wait for the rain. It's usually raining, isn't it? So, our Mingy bucket, which Gemma's got a problem with, because it's got um, like a few bits of sawdust in it and stuff. Yeah, I've but, told them not to put dirty water on my new roof. But obviously we could use muddy seawater, but no, we're going to use some cleanish, fresh water. <laughs> I could probably drink that. And be on the toilet for the rest of the week. <laughs> right, so... Go on then. So obviously we've got a camera set up on the outside, so we're going to advance it slightly this side. So I'm going to start to pour in, hopefully our little ring diverter works and then it pushes it into the right area. Okay. I'll stand down here. Yeah, don't slip. Maybe don't. Okay. So, obviously when the flybridge is on, that stops the water from going off that edge there, which the job will show you now. Because yeah, the flybridge is built up to here. Yeah. So obviously at the moment, because the flybridge isn't in, when it comes to here, it is sort of going off that way. But once the flybridge is in, then that will get the area from the flybridge. So I think from that test, it's proved that because the flybridge isn't in, it's just going off the edge, which I kind of knew it would, but... Um, so what I, th what I think we'll do is put like a line of sealant all the way down as like a dam. So it sort of... So it encourages it to go into the drains rather than over the edge, because it's still coming off, off the edge, isn't it? So I think that's what we'll do now. Big line of sealant. So there we go. One of the biggest, hardest. Yeah, <laughs> it was fun. It, I really enjoyed it. To be honest with you, it's been really, really tiring mm. doing this this roof, yeah. but it's so nice to actually see something change so much so quick. Yeah, so quick. Mm. Mm. So obviously, the only thing we've got to do next is the flow coat. But before we put the flow coat on, mm. we want to build. The flybridge, so like, because the flow coat goes over everything basically, but um, but yeah. So we've learned massive amounts, haven't we? So, mm -hmm. so we basically learn what to do and what not to do on the deck, haven't we now, basically? So yeah. 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 Um, it just goes to show, even when you haven't done something before, yeah. you put your mind to it, mm. you can do it, you know. If you watch enough YouTube videos, you can figure it out, <laughs> you like. <laughs> it's like, you know, the roof is like a big daunting thing to us, and it was like, yeah. but, you know, we, we prepared a lot in the workshop it really helped speed oh, up the process yeah, yeah, when yeah. we were here mm. so we prepped as much as we, mm. we could mm. before we actually got stuck into it so that really helped mm. so yeah. yeah it's been fun it's good i'm and happy it's dry. we've had we have we have had a lot of rain haven't we yeah. so no more um, buckets no more buckets and no, no more pole. pole no more banging heads um but yeah so yeah it's good so, so I think the only thing like it actually needs doing soon is maybe like another coat of paint. We've already had three coats of paint, but it looks a bit scabby in places where footprints, footprints <laughs> on the ceiling. But yeah. Cool. So thank you all so much for watching. Yeah, thanks guys. Um, please, if you're enjoying our videos, subscribe to the channel. It's free, and it really, really does it's help free. us. It's free. Ooh. It doesn't cost you a penny. <laughs> I might do that. Yeah. <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. Okay, cheers, guys. See you next thank you. week. Thank you much. Cheers. Bye bye bye. bye.